The historical facts would would require them actually going to, they you know, doing a lot of archaeological evidence. But the spiritual facts, uh, I would say, are, are accessible. Oh. Any so the things the that the things that supposedly actually happened here on Earth that were then written about that becomes the religion, they don't have access to any of those. Could, could come to the truths of the Trinity without it necessarily including the uh, the allegory or, or even the historical account of of Christ. No, I don't think that's necessary to come to the spiritual truths of the Trinity. No. And so would they then discover that Jesus was fully God and fully Klingon? Did their sin bring it in for the Klingons too, or did Klingons have their own Adam and Eve who fucked the, up? Then they've been naughty boys themselves. Let me let me ask you a couple quick hypotheticals that may be useful. <clears throat> yeah. Do you think there is intelligent life elsewhere in the universe? Very most most likely. I can't prove it, but yes, I would imagine there is. Do they have the Catholic Bible? Uh, probably not. Um. Unless Jesus went and visited them, and perhaps the whole the the Holy Spirit has revealed to them the same thing, um, but the, wouldn't, I, I wouldn't don't that, think you wouldn't that need to be the case? I mean, if no. oh, okay, because my my thought is that your definition of truth is that which comports with the mind of God. So then mm -hmm. they don't have access to truth. No, they do. I mean, that, that's there's a difference between if I was to say reality and the mind of God are one and the same, and that we are set within a panthe pantheon within a pantheistic conception of reality um then de their existence would simply give them access to the mind of god uh so long as they have epistemological mechanisms they're capable of but reasoning they have, and perceiving the world if they have access to the mind of god and the mind of god comports directly mm -hmm. with what you understand as catholicism then they would have access to catholicism well they would have access to evidence that catholicism was true uh, which is exactly what Thomas Aquinas argues, that we could look, we don't necessarily need to look to scripture in order to prove the truths that are in Catholicism. And he argues that they're all provable through natural reason, which I would concur. Um, so you, you think that we, the, the statements in the Athanasian Creed yes, are, are all are provable pro through reason? Really? Because it yeah. starts off, um, well, there's the father... Whether the, the historical facts would would require them actually going to they, you know, doing a lot of archaeological evidence, but the spiritual facts, uh, I would say, are, are accessible. Oh. Any so the things the that universe. the things that supposedly actually happened here on Earth that were then written about that becomes the religion. They don't have access to any of those. Well, I don't but think the, that becomes the religion at all either. And I, I mean, I'm almost a perennialist. Sorry, I don't mean to interrupt. I'm almost a perennialist when it comes to this stuff. But you're saying they don't have access to any of that. But they will know. Would, they will know that there's a Trinity. Yeah, the Trinity. They could they could they could come to the truths of the Trinity without it necessarily including the uh, the allegory or or even the historical account of of Christ. No, I don't think that's necessary to come to the spiritual truths of the Trinity. No, might make me very popular among many Catholics. I don't, like I, I think that the the I don't rely upon divine revelation through Scripture in order to create a rational logical inference in which how reality is purported to work within within scripture it's not like it's not when 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 we look towards the truths of christianity they should be observable within the natural world and if you're well any christian i would say this any christian's version of christianity which does not pur purport to nature needs to give the head a wobble because they are being actively contravened by their experiences which demonstrates that they are wrong um, well, so no, so no, I, w I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily have to rely upon simply a scriptural take. Um, okay, but if we go through this thing, so um, they would be able these these aliens to conclude that Jesus uh, is God because God is his father, and is human because his mother was human. Even though they have no idea what humans are. They wouldn't are. have to say human, and uh, specifically, they would have to understand that he could have particular concrete existence. And I, I would say that would be the experience of God, for example, in all of us. I think, I think it, Isaac Beshevis Singer said uh, there is a divine spark. He wasn't a Christian, he was a Jew, actually. But there is a divine spark that exists in all creatures, for example. Um, now, we would see that as the spirit in Christianity. But if we were to essentially say that there was a being which contained all of spirit, essentially all of the unity of the Father, like all of the Father, right? And it's universality. But as a particular being, and we would say that this necessarily must exist 
for any other particular being to exist, you know, because a particular can only be understood if this was necessarily possible or necessarily concrete, then we would say that there is a being. Doesn't the, the alien might portray it as its own race, you know, could portray it as a cow. I don't, I don't really care. They might portray it as something else, but that would necessarily, um, you know, the, like, for example, the father, the son and the spirit in logical terms, they could come to that truth. And I think that they very well might come to that truth. So for, for clarity, we'll, we'll go with Klingons. Klingons, good choice. So Klingons wouldn't know anything until they actually met and interacted with humans, wouldn't know anything about humans. So would they then discover that Jesus was fully God and fully Klingon? Sorry, that Jesus was fully God and fully... Uh, that, that, yeah, I mean, like, in theory, yeah, he, he could be, yeah. Like, for example, I, I would I would affirm, for example, that Jesus Christ could... Like, well, God and Jesus Christ specifically could manifest him in any any way that he chooses to. Whether he comes down as a human man, whether he comes down as a dog, he could do what he wants. That's, that's kind of the point, right? They, yeah, but it's not about what he could do. It's about what supposedly happened. It's because what he is. The, it's more about the fact that he is no, everything so, in its no, perfection. It's, it's so he, no, his human part is not perfection. His human oh, is, think, is there is the sinful nature. This is supposed to be an no, atonement no, no. for look, human look sin. The, where, I'm still talking. Where sorry, sin and sorry, death sorry. were brought into the world by the sin of Adam and Eve. Um, did did their sin bring it in for the Klingons too, or did Klingons have their own Adam and Eve who fucked the, up? The, then they've been naughty boys themselves. But the 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 if so the story just the, repeats everywhere where there's intelligent life with Jesus repeatedly coming down, taking that form, and dying remember, in order to free sorry, them. Remember, Catholics as well don't take, for example, something like Genesis to be literal. Uh, we take it to be allegorical, and lots Someday. of the Bible to be allegorical. Uh, well, we're supposed to. It's the word of God, not the words of God, which has been well, divinely inspired. The, the one true faith specifically talks about, you know, uh, he yeah, suffered He suffered for our salvation, descended to hell, arose from the dead, ascended to heaven, is seated at the Father's right hand. Is all of that allegory too? Um, I mean, I wouldn't have a problem interpreting it as allegorical. Um, it's well, I would probably be heterodoxical for saying that, still contained within the Catholic Church, but um, not the primary... Uh, in uh, interpretation of, of scripture, but yeah, I would say that it's very possibly allegorical. I, I'm not here to debate hi biblical history. I'm here to debate spiritual fact, uh, and that's why I'm arguing that uh, that this is possible and accessible to to let's say Klingons. And if you look at the Bible and the well, look at the uh, I can never say the Athanasian Creed. It actually says that humanity is assumed into God. So actually, um, the unity. Catholics argue that the unity of the divine and humanity is absolute. It's not that it's not that Christ is imperfect. He is perfect, even in his humanity. It would be more typical, pro typically Protestant to say that actually the humanity and the uh, divinity within Christ was only made possible, even though it's a contradiction, was only made possible through the power of God.